Hey, I'm Craig, I'm founder of Halter, and we're here on our research farm just outside of Morrinsville. We're gonna walk through some of the work that we've been doing over the past few months. Obviously, we're coming into spring and summer, really key time of the year on farm, really trying to get your performance right, maximizing both strong milk production and setting yourself up to get a really good six-wing calf rack. Both these things come back to how well you can feed your cows and feeding your cows right. And the most profitable way to do that is with the grass and the pasture that you have on hand on farm. So features we've been focusing on, how do you feed your cows right? How do you manage your grass? And we're gonna dive into that. First things first is making sure you know how much to feed your cows. Obviously today, this is done with rules of thumbs or guidelines. Uh, the problem with that is it's super easy to be either under or over feeding your cows. We all know farmers that you've talked to where they're saying, oh, I'm not sure why my cows aren't producing or why I can't get my cows to cycle. And it actually comes back to they're not feeding the cows the right amount. So what we've done, we've built an in-app energy requirements calculator. This captures all the key components that go into how much feed your cows actually need. We do this on a mob basis. Things like how much your cows producing, at what stage of pregnancy are they, all the way down to the contour of the farm and how far they're walking. It's super easy. You can do it in less than a minute. You don't have to guess anymore. It's definitely not a complex spreadsheet. So now you know exactly what your cows need on a mob by mob basis every day. Now on the other side of the equation, it's all about the feed. So obviously not all the feed that you offer actually gets eaten and different feed types have different levels of energy in them. Both these things are really critical to making sure you're feeding your cows right. Now with everything else going on farm, it's very easy for this not to be front of mind for farmers every day. So we've built calculators in the app where based on things like your grazing conditions or your feeding method, you can work out or estimate what your utilization is gonna be. And ideally you go get your feed tested, but either way, both your current utilization, your feed quality, you can track per feed type in the app. Now this all starts to become pretty cool when you pair it with the fact that Halter is already measuring your grass, we're virtually fencing your cows, we know how many cows are in each mob. And so aside from being able to tell you how many kgs of dry matter every cow has been offered, we can now also estimate how many kgs of dry matter every cow is actually eating on a daily basis. Now to close the loop on all of this, you get to keep track on both a daily and a weekly basis. So we're pulling in how many kgs of dry matter you're offering, you're utilizing, what the energy is versus required, and also comparing this to things like the grazing behavior and the rumination behavior of your cows. All of this data gets pulled in automatically based on every break that you set and all the supplement that you're feeding to your animals. So you don't have to chase this manually to know exactly what the feeding levels are per cow in each mob. On top of working on how to make sure you're feeding your cows right, we've still been working on the pasture management and the grass side of things. So first things first, we've launched the biggest upgrade to our automatic pasture cover and our daily growth rate models since we launched them over a year ago. So massive thanks to you guys. This is now trained on about five times as much data as it was initially and across a much wider set of conditions to make sure that it's even more accurate across all times of the year and all different conditions. Now obviously when you have all this data at your fingertips, that's great. But the second question is like, how do you make sure you're making the best decision? And so what we've done is we've built a tool that pulls all this information in and enables you to really like review that data to make sure you're on the optimal, the best pasture management strategy moving forward. The first thing this tool gives you is a clear visibility of the current state of pasture on farm. This could be your current wedge, feed demand, and key metrics. And so if you use your current state as a base, you're able to forecast the impact of different pasture management strategies up to seven or 14 days ahead. This tool is particularly powerful because it's been updated with data from your farm every day. So obviously things like covers, growth rates, grazings, round speeds, all of that's there. But what it really means is that at any point when you dive in and want to run a scenario, you're already working off where you're at today. And then obviously combine this with the ability to execute the perfect strategy with virtual fencing and you have a really powerful combination. Obviously I don't have to tell you that farming is complex and every day you're making decisions and trying to predict what's gonna happen in the future based on those decisions. And we all know the difference between a good farmer and a bad farmer can literally be a week at times. And so this tool is something that you can use to really build confidence and kind of stress test your thinking to make sure that at every point you're maximizing both the pasture and your animal performance. As you may have noticed, that's a lot of information to try and fit onto the small screen of a phone. And if you combine that with the fact that we're producing more data and insights every week, Farmers have been asking that they want to share this information with their advisors or with their trusted professionals and there's a lot of people involved in the farm that aren't in the app every day. It started to make a whole lot of sense for us to build a new platform which is Halter on the web. You've got access to all the data you can dream of. 
literally enough data to sync a battleship. And you can sort, filter, download, you're able to share with consultants or vets or even just your mate over the fence. And for those of you that have multiple farms with Halter, we've introduced new reporting features that enable you to track and compare the metrics that matter between your farms. We've always been very intentional about building Holter to be mobile first, so that it's always on you, whether you're out in the paddock or not on farm. Uh, we'll continue to do this, but there's obviously just some things that make a lot more sense to be on a bigger screen. And so Web unlocks a whole range of ideas that we're excited about. So really, we're just getting started. Animal health is obviously important all year round, but particularly true during the calving season. For some farmers, our health product's been pretty good, and for other farmers, it hasn't been great. And so we've made a bunch of changes across the board to make sure that it's consistently performing, no matter the farm or the time of year. Firstly, we've given you, the farmer, the ability to tune the alert sensitivity based on how you like it. Secondly, we've changed the model to be even more focused on the core behaviors of a cow across resting, grazing, and rumination. So if there's ever any concerning trends for any of those on a cow-by-cow -cow basis, we'll let you know. And then lastly, we'll build a new front end to the app so that it's much easier for you to work through this data and information across your whole herd. There's a table view where you can sort cows based on things like rumination or grazing, and there's a timeline view on a per cow basis or to go through all the diagnoses that you've had across your herd. Now most of these products are already live, they're in your hands today. Hold to web you'll have in a week. And then on top of all of this, we're running a webinar on the 28th of August, where we'll go through the features in even more detail and how best to apply them to your farm. That's it for the spring release. We're super excited. Most importantly, we're excited to see what you can do with them on your farm.